Before I go any further, I would like an endearing and endearing friend to officially welcome you. This friend has been a childhood friend, neighbor, family friend, cousin-in-law, a music fan of the subject at hand. Furthermore, being a writer, he has chronicled the subject's artistic activities for many decades in publications both in Cebu and in Manila. His articles and special features have been widely read and have helped to mold our community's taste and understanding of the arts. His special feature articles on today's subject and her artistic and community endeavors form a meaningful and substantial part of the book we are about to launch. Together with the other Cebu and Manila authors and writers, this person has documented activities and events which have etched out Cebu on the cultural map. A true blue Cebuano himself, please help us welcome Jaime de Cornell. Governor and Mrs. Davide, welcome, along with everybody here present this afternoon. Good afternoon. It is really a, quite an honor for me to have been asked to say the welcome remarks. I didn't expect it, and uh, especially since I write better than I talk. <laughs> but uh, I accepted because all my life, as far as I can remember, I have known Ingrid, our parents have known each other, our grandparents too. We are part of this small community which has grown so much. And the one who has really grown so much in stature and magnitude is Ingrid herself. This book, My Four Seasons, compiles her career since the moment she was a child, learning to play the piano from her mother, and her mother being such a good teacher has been surpassed by her daughter, which is the real proof of somebody's excellence, to be surpassed by your pupil. So how old was Ingrid when she got married? She was a teenager. We saw her. Then we saw how she continued with her career as a pianist, gaining laurels and gaining all the praise from the world, from local, national, and international writers. But as she got all these honors, and continued performing, Ingrid remains a housewife, a very dutiful mother, and a member of the community, which she was very active in every aspect. And she has performed and performed and performed. Now, for 10 years of her life, she stopped performing, because she dedicated these 10 years to Cebu, to create a musical development program that provided Cebu with its golden era of music. The music that came out from the old Sala house is really fantastic, fabulous. I, we cannot say enough about it. Then Ingrid herself said that she had forgotten about her performing career. But when she continued, when she resumed it, she was a much, much better pianist than she had ever been. And so today, any time she plays, she plays with more passion, more, more beauty, so to speak. And what else can one say, and what more can one say? But that I'm very happy to have been asked to give these remarks. Ingrid, I feel a knot in my throat, and so do you. So <laughs> welcome, <laughs> welcome everyone, and enjoy the rest of the day. Thank you.